We saw a lot of disturbing things in the 2024 Paris Olympic Games, including that disgusting opening ceremony. But one of the things that people feared could happen actually became a reality. When two fighters who had been disqualified from women's boxing at the World Championships just last year after failing gender tests were eligible to compete at this year's Olympic Games. And sure enough, these boxers who had been found with XY chromosomes with male DNA, they did compete in the Olympics. They did beat up actual women in the ring and they both walked away with gold medals. And despite the IOC, the International Olympic Committee, running damage control everywhere they could, including this insane statement, International Olympic Committee president says he lacks a scientifically solid system to identify men and women. We knew that the Olympics and basically the mainstream media were going to be all in on this, all in on defending people who had proven to be abnormal, proven to have XY chromosomes, proven to have male DNA men competing in the ring and winning gold medals against women. But one of those people was very outspoken. That is Amain Khalif, the boxer from Algeria who took home the gold medal, who compl- who complained about bullying, yet refused to actually get into specifics about this failed gender test. And then in the immediate aftermath of winning the gold medal, Amain Khalif then says, I'm going to file a lawsuit. I'm going to file a complaint and get these people in trouble who are saying all of these things about me. Well, now we know some of the people that are named in this, and it's uh, it's kind of big names. J.K. Rowling and Elon Musk named in cyberbullying lawsuit filed by Algerian boxer Amain Khalif after Olympic win. Now, just as a, to explain a little bit of this, because I've been covering on Sports Wars a lot. I made a video on this channel as well. I mentioned in that video, there was an initial report out there that Amin Khalif was a transgender boxer. That was not the case. Now, there is something called DSD or differences in sexual development, which does happen in very rare situations where you might have people, again, massive abnormalities that are born maybe with both sets of genitalia or maybe with internal sets of genitalia or maybe the outside appearance, they look one way, but actually when you look at their body, you look at their DNA, they actually might be something else. That does happen. It's a rare instance and, you know, it's It's not the same as somebody living their entire life as a dude, snapping their fingers, claiming to be a woman, and then competing against actual women in sports. But it is still, obviously, a competitive advantage to be a man biologically and actually coming in the ring against women. It's not allowed in the vast majority of sports out there. That is what this case was, according to the International Boxing Association, even according to to Amain Khalif's trainer. Someone who's on Amain Khalif's side said this, Amain Khalif's trainer admits problem with chromosomes after boxer took gold, confirming that, yes, everything the International Boxing Association said, that this this person had XY DNA, XY chromosomes, that was the truth. But the boxer says, hey, she's lived her whole life as a woman, so she's a woman to me. Well, that doesn't mean that this person should be in the ring with actual women. Well, now, Amin Khalif is trying to get some payback. J.K. Rowling and Elon Musk have both been named in a criminal complaint filed to French authorities over alleged, quote, acts of aggravated cyber harassment against Algerian boxer and newly crowned Olympic champion Amin Khalif. The Paris-based attorney of Khalif confirmed a variety. Both figures were mentioned in the body of the complaint posted to the Anti-Online Hatred Center of Paris Public Prosecutor's Office on Friday. Uh, First of all, how pathetic is it that you have an entire office for that there in France? But hey. The lawsuit was filed against X, which uh, we should specify that doesn't mean Twitter, like Elon Musk's Twitter. It means, like they just say, which under French law means it was filed against unknown persons. That ensures the prosecution has the latitude to be able to investigate against all people, including those who may have written hateful messages under pseudonyms, says Booty. The complaint nevertheless mentions famously controversial figures. J.K. Rowling and Elon Musk are named in the lawsuit, among others, adding that Donald Trump would be part of the investigation investigation. Trump tweeted, so whether he's named in our lawsuit, he will inevitably be looked at as part of the prosecution. I don't know if Trump, he has returned to Twitter to say a couple things over the past few days. I don't know if he's said anything about this. Maybe they mean over on Truth Social. Despite being born female and not identifying as transgender or intersex, yes, not identifying as that, not identifying as someone with DSD, but That's scientifically what had been proven by the IBA. That's why they were disqualified. And just as a reminder, 
right? The Olympic Committee, which defended them and says, this is not the case of a man fighting a woman. This is what the Olympic Committee actually said. They have no scientific way to tell the difference between a man and a woman. Weird. You could just run the same test you used to run for decades and decades at the Olympics, gender eligibility tests, but they don't want to do that anymore. That's strange. Now, based on all the information we have, the differences in sexual development, it clearly seems to be that that is the case. Uh, we have confirmation from the IBA saying that XY DNA. We have confirmation from Khalif's trainer saying that there was a chromosome issue that resulted in high testosterone that they had to use different medications or whatever to bring the testosterone levels down. That's what this is. And it doesn't make it the same as a transgender issue. And in a lot of ways, you can have sympathy for somebody that was born with this true abnormality like that. But when you do have all these male, inherent male advantages over women, you shouldn't be competing. And in most sports, they do not let you compete, including at the World Championships in boxing. But the Olympics was a different story. So now Elon Musk and J.K. Rowling are named in this lawsuit. Listen, I, I have no idea how fucking how online cyber bullying uh, lawsuits work and in a criminal complaint, in, uh, you know, of all things in, in France. I got no idea. I'd just be bullshitting you if I told you I did. I don't. But I imagine there's going to be a lot more of this coming out. The fact that two massive figures like that were named. I'd have to imagine there'll be a response at some point in time. What do you guys think about this situation? Let me know in the comment section below. Smash a like button. Subscribe to the channel. Ring the bell for notifications. Share this video out there. And I'll talk to you later.